all the ears that I have that are not created by me. Um, which probably means that I have a crafting addiction. Do you too? Tell me I'm not alone. <laughs> like glitter is my best friend. No, not really. Christmas lights are my best friend, but glitter is like my best friend cousin. <laughs> everybody it's me and Z Cole here without the kids why because of an ear tag yep you heard it right an ear tag now I was tagged like a month ago I apologize it's taking me so long um I'm still a month into this cold and I can I'm sorry for my voice <laughs> but Christy from Christy's Corner along with Twinkling Beauty came together and May 15 question tag all about sharing your ear collection or thoughts you have on the process and I love this because I'm tagged all the time in pin tags and I don't have very many I have now I think I have close to 30 pins however I am almost to a hundred ears <laughs> so pulling ears for ear tags is so much easier for me on top of the fact that I create most of them too. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. We love to see you and you know what to do to let us know you like us. Let's get into this tag. Ready? Sorry if I'm looking down, I have to read it off of uh, my tablet. So number one, dances and dresses show a princess pair of ears. So I'm gonna show my very favorite princess pair that I own to date. There's a lot of little frills and stuff. And it's this one. This is my Merida pair. Um, I met her in these. She is my favorite princess. I really love Belle too. But I did a silhouette of her on this side with all of the, uh, the blues and the oranges and the earth tones because she's very mountainous. And on this side, I did her brothers all stacked up. And this is my princess pair. Number two, sparkle and glitz. Show a sparkly pair of ears. So when I think sparkle, nothing quite says sparkle like beaded ears. And I do these too. I use nail beads, so they're very, very small. This is a pair that Belle had picked out. They're not mini because they're without a bow. When I do put bows on them, I put them very small because I don't want them to, de to uh, detract from the detail work in this. And then there is Goofy, and wow. I, I love these ears. We actually wore them in the park a lot. I wear them a lot, um, and I just leather trimmed them. But these are my sparkly ears because, boy, oh, boy, do they sparkle, especially in the sunlight. Number three solids can be bold share a solid colored pair of ears I have a few solid pairs of ears I really do um I'm going to share these because these are a little bit different now the stitching kind of came out and I have to redo them since our last trip uh but they're just these um I do actually have I don't know a third of my ears don't have bows because sometimes I like them a little simpler these are a pair I got at Hot Topic years and years ago I got these this color and the purple and I just like them because they're delicate they're very light they're just lace and um there's a solid pair for you number four patterns are fun show a pair of ears that has a pattern on them um so i am gonna show these these are christmas <laughs> but the pattern is ear lights and um these are the flat like faux leather ears that i create and i studded them with rhinestones they have the accordion fold bow and on the other side, they have Christmas lights, too. So there's double-sided pattern. Um, and I really love those ones a lot. 
Well, I love Christmas. Surprise. <laughs> Number five, love is in the air. Show a pair of ears that makes you think of love. Okay. Originally, I had thought, like, I had a, I have a couple of couples, pairs of ears that I was going to show. But instead, I'm going to share you these. So one of my very, very favorite um, humans that I've gotten to interact with, thanks to YouTube, created one of my very, very favorite uh, characters on a pair of ears. And I absolutely just adore them and love them so very much. And I love the meaning. Um, I love that my friend thought of me enough and found this fabric and put the gems on the bow. So to me, love comes in all sorts of, of forms and friendship is absolutely one. And Robin Hood is one of my most loved characters. He is somebody that um, I've always, even as a child, he was one of my favorites. I love the movie. I love these ears. And I absolutely adore the woman who made them, which is Cargo 619. Um, she does incredible work. And those are my love ears. Number six, Sweet Tooth. Show your favorite pair of ears that reminds you of a sweet, something sweet. So this isn't really sweet. And I do have some treat ears, but when I think of food, these are my favorite ears. It's not a food, it's a beverage. These are my Violet Lemonade ears. Um, and I, I like lemonade, but I like my lemonade not incredibly sweet. Uh, I made these back, I wanna say like in February. I've worn them in quite a few videos. I just love the color aesthetic. Just little lemons that I drew and the purple and yellow flowers. Um, sweet treat number seven let's be honest share a pair of ears that are your least favorite i could probably show you like 15 or 20 that's why they're in my collection and not in the arms of the people that originally ordered them because i had them like messes up or snafus and then i just keep them as mine because i don't really care if they have a like more flaws um but this one However, the one I'm going to show you is a pair that my daughter really, really wanted and I worked really, really hard on and then we had some issues. So they're these. They came with us to the park. Um, they're not very comfortable because they are the wire, like the real thin wire headband, but these are heavier than I had anticipated. I loved the rainbow wiring that I got to do it, do on it but there was some bleeding in the colorization. There was some pitting in the glaze that was excessive. Like you can see it in this one. Um, so I use uh, UV resin most of the time and you can see like for whatever reason like dust particles or something settled on it and it got a pitting. So like from far away you can't tell. It just looks like the Fab Five, but up close I don't, I, it makes me a little upset. And then the back, I put uh, glow-in-the-dark glitter, um, so it was interactive, but I just, they're really my least favorite, like, these are the ears that I'm really not proud of in the least bit. These are ears that I wish I could have been able to do over, but I just, these took so much time, I couldn't do them over before our trip. Number eight, this is Halloween. Show your favorite Halloween ears. <sighs> so, um, if you're new here, welcome. My name's Nicole, and I don't really like Halloween too much. Uh, for those of you who are returning, you may know that. I do, however, really like fall. I don't own any Halloween ears. None. Not one pair. I have, I just counted before I did this, and I have 93, and I have four sitting there needing to be put together that are mine, um, or my daughter's. But I do have a fall pair that I really, really love. So there's a bunch of fall leaves, and 
little colors, um, a kind of fluff bow. Like I put some um, batting in it so that it kind of keeps up on its shape. And I lined it in just the little pearls. But I love this maroon and the teal and the gold color for fall. So sorry, you don't get Halloween ears, but you do get fall ears. And Halloween's in fall. Number nine, tis the season to be jolly. La 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 la. I love Christmas. Um, and though I have no Halloween ears, <laughs> I have about 20-ish Christmas ears, including the ones on my head that I really do like. But I think of all of them that I've made so far, I really like these. They're like the mini ears and they're offset just slightly. Um, so they hang on the side and I did red and green on one side, gold trimmed and red and green on the other. Most of my ears are double sided, which probably means I have close to 200 pairs. Shh, that's not too many, right? So number 10, let it burn. If you create your own ears, what do you dislike about the process? So I think what I dislike the most is I'm really hard on myself. I find flaws a lot. Um, I second guess myself. I don't like that. I don't like when you think up something in your head and then you can't really make what you create live up to your own expectations. I, and of the whole process, like, there's nothing I dislike more than the spacing. I can use a template. I can use, um, I use uh, the soft sewing rulers. And I don't know. <laughs> Somehow I always slip like a couple of centimeters. Um, which way or another. Number 11, the fun in crafting. What do you like the most about creating your ears? You're limitless. You are only limited by your own imagination. Um, you can pull from all sorts of different movies, characters that you don't see, and that's how I kind of started. I had friends, um, so I'm a creator. I've been a creator for a very long time, um, and I have friends and family that ask me to do all sorts of wild and crazy things, and I paint characters all a lot. So when my friends couldn't find the ears that they wanted, they would come to me, and this was almost a decade ago, and be like, could you make me a bow like her or ears like her? And I got to use my imagination. I really, really love that process. Um, I also like the fact that you get to add a little bit of magic. You get to add sparkle and something that's gonna be part of a trip and something that's gonna hold a precious memory or something due to a character just has a great sentiment to you. And I love adding that extra little like pixie dust and knowing that people get to have that. And um, so being able to contribute to other people's trips or to my friends, um, that little bit of pixie dust is probably my ultimate favorite, favorite, favorite part of crafting. Twelve, what is the hardest part about making your own ears? Well, I guess I'm going to go back. And uh, um, the hardest part about making my own ears are these two different ears that I make. This one, this, uh, this is very time consuming and the glue that I use dries very very quickly so I can only put like a, the, the tip of a straw amount of glue on before it'll lose its tact and it will not hold the the gems and for this the hardest part for me is actually um wrapping the ribbons or wrapping the headband because I use a thicker wire underneath and then I wrap it with different colors. It's a very painful on my fingers and those are probably the hardest parts about making my own 
years. Number 13, if you could only give one tip to a beginner, what would it be? Um, don't limit yourself and mistakes are there for growth. You will have items that you go, ooh, that does not look good. And don't let it frustrate you. Seriously, take a step back. Take a deep breath and create again. You will find your own footing. What works for one person is not gonna work for everybody. I've watched tons of tutorials. I have a Pinterest board. I get inspiration from all sorts of different items like a wreath I see or whatever. Uh, and there are some times where I have to rip apart an ear. There are some times when the glue gets on the fabric and I go, well, snafu -y. Um, time for a redo. But that's just it. It's a redo. I've been making them for eight years. And I still mess up. We're human. Mistake, but keep moving forward. Do not give up. Do not get frustrated. It really, um, it's just a pair of ears. So have fun with it. Absolutely, 100%. Don't limit yourself and have fun with it. Know that mistakes are going to happen and you've got this. Number 14, character. Show your favorite ears that resemble a character. So these we just finished because we're kind of excited about a certain movie coming out. And I wanted a pair of Sven ears to go with, um, to go and watch the movie in. So these are ones that I just made um, maybe a couple of weeks ago now. And I love this, this like faux sequency. I, don't, I just like the colors of it because it's very brown, but there's purples and greens in it. Little spun ears, little spun antlers out of the glitter. Um, and these are my favorite character ears currently that I have, I guess. And number 15, as a consumer, what tip would you give creators on what you are looking for in a pair of ears? Well, um, I think for me as a consumer, the one thing I'm looking for is individuality. Um, I like the ears that maybe took a little time, that added a little extra detail, that are the not mainstream characters. I like to see yourself in them. I like to see something and go, oh, yep. I can see who made them um, and I love being emulated like absolutely I don't patent anything make it but I like seeing the obscure I like seeing the unique characters the ones that you don't I don't know as a consumer if you make my heart smile you probably will make my pocketbook open up um, and if you don't then I'll admire them and tell you you're amazing. But I have a hundred, <laughs> almost. I don't need to buy a bunch of ears all the time. Um, that's my, I, as a creator, I guess, or as a consumer, I guess that's just it. Give me something unique and it doesn't have to be one of a kind, but just not the mainstream every day. So that's it. Those are all the questions. And this was a really fun tag. And I thank you so much, Christy, for tagging me. So I'm not sure who to tag. <laughs> so if you would like to do this, please, please do it. Go ahead and tell somebody that I tagged you. As for me tagging people, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there for two people. I'm going to put um, Elise between the ears. Tag your it. Because... I'm not sure how big your collection is. However, I would love to see it. And uh, I would love to see Syria over at Dream It DIY. I know that you're a creator, much like myself, and you make some incredible and one of a kind unique ears. I would absolutely love to see what you come up with for an ear tag, because um, you're incredible. And along with that, I am going to tag 
Heather at the Disney Housewives. I'm not sure if you've been tagged yet, but uh, again, a creator who is a amazing. And um, I would really, I know that I know that some of my favorite ears that you've created have actually gone out to other people. But I would love to see what you come up with for this tag too, because you know, sharing ears. I came together and met these girls pretty much because of ears. <laughs> so I would like to see what you share. I hope that you have an irresistible day and a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>